Hello everybody and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. In this video we are going to start in our third world Clanker's Cavern. So let's get this place started because it is going to be a little different than the last couple of worlds that we've seen. So we've got one new move to learn in this place, which is apparently well hidden, so challenge accepted bottles. Now normally in this particular level, this starting area, if you're playing on the N64 version, I would actually recommend doing later on, like last as you're leaving the level. The reason for that is because in the original version, all the notes and everything reset, and you have to come back and reset and come and get all the stuff back again if you are to die. This is the first level in this game that will actually give you possibility of dying, which we'll see in a little bit here. But since this is the Xbox version and everything saves when I die or when I quit the game or whatever, uh, it auto saves, I'm just going to collect the stuff now before we move on into the actual level itself. So it's kind of a murky, dirty, uh, actually it's a water level, surprisingly. But it's kind of a different sort of water level. So, if I could get my notes correctly, that would be great. I'm gonna have a lot of problems in this world if I can't swim into some simple notes. We're going to swim into the tube to reveal... Whatever the heck this thing is. Bzzz, I am Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. Want fresh air. Okay, that is very strange. A big, metallic, metal monster. And this is the reason why I think a lot of people really had troubles with this world as a kid. Clanker is kind of a strange looking whatever he is. But you know what? Clanker is really all a good guy. He's really not that bad. So we're going to try and we're going to attempt to help him. I recommend having full air before you do this because you have to actually dive all the way down to the bottom here. Clanker's connected. Um, to this little block here by this chain and what you have to do is you have to unlock him and all you have to do that is you have to swim through this key three times now the problem with this is that you uh, have very very limited air luckily there's this fish swimming around that will give you air bubbles and if you swim into the air bubbles you'll get your air back um, without this fish you would be doomed. This would be literally impossible because not only do you have to swim through the key, you have to uh, then swim through the bottom of the level here to get the notes and there's a Jinjo hiding down here as well. So, for some reason Gloop only introduces himself now after we fr freed Clanker. After you swam through the key a couple times, Clanker will float to the top and he's got some nice treats waiting on his back. Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. For his voice, I was actually plugging my nose, but I can't do that right now because I'm trying to concentrate on collecting some stuff. This is kind of the main reason that I recommend doing the first part of the level first is because this is the part where you, you know, you might die, you might run out of air. It's actually pretty likely. It really all depends on where Gloop is and if you can actually manage to get him at a reasonable time when you can actually get to the bubbles. Because if you're running out of air and he's all the way on the other side of the uh, area, I'm sorry to tell you, but you are out of luck. So, fortunately, it looks like we've pretty much got everything. I'm just going to collect the Jinjo here, save him from a death, although it doesn't seem like the Jinjo's having much trouble breathing underwater, uh, unlike Banjo and Kazooie, and we're gonna get the hell out of here. As a kid, I think that gave me, as well as many, many other people, a lot of problems. It's really hard when you're a kid to try and concentrate, and it's really kind of under pressure <laughs> to swim and free clanker. And, uh, well, the worst part of the level is honestly over. After you get past that little bit there, this level's actually really not that bad. I think this level's kind of creative, and I, I quite like it. I actually also really love the music for this level, too, so... Thank you for our first Jiggy Clanker. Bzzz, 
Clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help, Clanker. Okay, Clanker. You know what? I feel bad for you. I really do. I feel really bad for this guy. He has to compact all of Grunty's trash for the whole lair, which, may I remind you, is huge. And I don't even want to know what kind of trash Grunty throws away. So... There's a couple things we can do to help Clanker. You can get up on his little blowhole, I guess. His little bolt. You can climb up this area on this very, very, very thin pipe. And there's a jiggy for us to collect. So I'm gonna grab this one. Making it our second jiggy. And then I'm gonna go back over to where Clanker is. For this level, what I recommend doing, or what it is that I always do, is to do all of the things that have to do with Clanker first. So, as you'll see in a moment, we're going to be able to get some more Jiggies and some more cool stuff. Um, I need to go ahead and I need to fire some eggs into Clanker's teeth here, his golden teeth. Looks like he's had some fillings, probably from eating a lot of trash. Like he said, he's not feeling very well, so we're going to fix his teeth for him. Toothache, this side god, Clanker swallowed reward. Okay, well, we fixed one of his teeth, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix the other side. Banjo can get a job as a dentist now. Who would have thought? Or Kazooie, I guess. She's doing the work. There you go. Ah, this tooth not hurt now. Teeth all better now. Thank you, Bear. Oh, you're welcome, Clanker. And you can climb into his mouth, and once you have play dentist, you can actually go ahead and you can get a Jiggy. I'm actually going to climb out the other side and go into the other tooth, because on the other side there is a Mumbo token. So, once you have cleared up Clanker's dental problems, you can climb into his body through his mouth, and this is when the uh, level really starts. I like this level because it's kind of unique. Reminds me of Zelda, of course, going into Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. It's kind of the same thing. The whole level is designed around being in some sort of giant mechanical trash compactor fish thing. And he looks like he's got a lot of issues. I will, no wonder his stomach hurts. He's got crabs crawling around in here, and he's got some notes, and he's also got tentacles in his stomach. That's something you certainly don't see every day. Okay. So... We're also going to do a little bit of a obstacle course. Um, hop through the green hoop and then basically follow it along to the next green hoop. And go through every single green hoop until there's no green hoops left. You get time for this. Uh, this is actually reasonable to fail. I usually only have a couple of seconds left when I do this, especially when I screw up like that. There we go. And this will, of course, reward us with a Jiggy, so we want to do this, of course. And this level's going to be a little more easy to follow. Obviously, like I said, I start in Clanker's... Clanker himself, and then there's kind of outside stuff to do in the world. So it's a little e it'll be a little easier to follow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to spend more than two videos here. This level takes a little bit longer, but not much longer, mind you. This level's just more or less a lot of swimming, which makes it pretty time-consuming, because obviously swimming is not as fast as um, walking or running or doing the talent shot or something, so. There's also a flight pad over there. I guess I can use that to get the jiggy. I think you can just hop on it, but I might as well just use the flight pad. The flight pad's used for other things as well in this room. But we'll just go over and we'll fly to the jiggy. Because I do like flying. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get this Jiggy. Which, like I said, I think you can just jump onto it. I just couldn't get the jump for whatever reason. And then before I go up there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go collect some notes on the sides of the wall here. The notes in this level are a little harder to collect. They're pretty spread out, so I'll get them all, but I need to really keep track of where they are, because usually the last 10 or 15 notes I'm scrambling and kind of searching for, and 
getting that Jinjo, and then interestingly enough, you can also go in and out of Clanker's gills, which is kind of cool. You can do that even before you destroy his teeth. I just find it easiest to just get rid of the teeth first, get that Jiggy, and then start in Clanker's mouth, and then just kind of move your way backwards, which sounds kind of gross when I say it like that. But yeah, it's kind of cool. When he, when he breathes, you can just swim inside of him. So, figured I'd show that little shortcut as well. And now that I've done that, and I've collected all of those notes, now I will use the flight pad and we'll go up above where the jiggy was, and we'll see what's up there. We're also seeing these beautiful golden feathers. I collected it in the beginning of the level, but I was talking over it. We're gonna get a use for those soon. So, let's fly, and let's go over here. Interesting that Kazooie can fly even when there's no air. I guess she is a bird after all. And over here we've got a lot of fans, and we've also got bottles. Aha, I found you. You're not so hidden after all. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Does it make me invulnerable? Sure does! Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick right. Keep the right or left trigger held and use the left stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this re move requires gold feathers and you can only carry 10 of them. So... Gold feathers are very valuable, which is why we've been seeing them in this level. We'll get a bunch of them in this level, but they become quite scarce later on in the game. Uh, so this move is called the Wonder Wing, I do believe it is its official name, so let's go ahead and let's Wonder Wing out of this place. You literally do become invincible, there's no way to walk through these fans without getting chopped up, so you want to Wonder Wing your way over to this nice jiggy. And that makes five, so we're making some really killer progress in this level already. And I love the music that plays when you Wonder Wing. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I love the music the everywhere in this game, really. Alright. So now that we've done that, we actually have pretty much finished all that there really is to do in Clanker's body. We've collected a couple of Jiggies and we've cleared up his dental problems and found Bottle's one hidden move that he had mentioned. I guess that means that we can just leave through his gills, and then we can start the outside of the level. Lots of swimming in garbage water, I hope Banjo and Kazooie are going to be okay. Alright, so let's go over here, and so far, if we take a look at our totals for this world, We've got over half the notes, we've got half the jiggies, there's two honeycomb pieces to find in this world which I'm going to have to keep an eye out for, and we'll hopefully be able to make a bit more progress in the next video. Don't know if we'll finish it, but we'll see. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time.